Looks pretty easy, doesn't it? Better. Hi. Now, when I play in pro ams, and I play with the amateur golfers, they ask me this question quite a few times. How do you hit the ball that far and swing it that easy? Well, it's quite simple. You know, my fundamentals I have worked on for quite some time now, and uh, it's, been, it's helped me in my golf game. In this video, I want to help you get the right fundamentals. You know, buying the right equipment will surely help you, but buying a golf game, I don't think you can do that. So in this video, we're going to help you find the right fundamentals, and that, those fundamentals are going to help you hit the ball straighter and a lot further. Okay, our first fundamental for today is the grip. Now, now what you want to do, you want to fast forward your tape now. Please don't. Put it on pause, go fetch a golf club, hurry back, and we'll work on the grip together. Okay, what we want to show you in this video is how to swing the club freely. Okay? Now, the only way you can do that is to have the correct grip. The two most common faults I see when I look at players' grips is the first one where you can see my left hand as I grip the club. You can see all my knuckles on the left hand. When my right hand slides in into the bottom, it makes it a very strong grip. Um, I used to play this way when I started the game. You're going to have a lot of problems. I'll show you why. As you take the club back and you come back down to the hitting area, you see my hands crossed over a little bit. This is more into a natural position where your hands should be. But look at my club face. The club face is aiming to the left, and this will cause the ball to curve from right to left, and you get a hook. The other fault I see players make is when the left hand goes underneath the club a little bit. That uh, is a very weak grip. Uh, the right hand slides over onto the top. And as I take the club back, and I come through and I into my hitting area again, you can see my hands want to get back to a natural position. This causes the club to slide open and you'll see the ball curve off to the right. Now the way we want to correct this is uh, to get your two hands into a natural position. We don't want to be compensating in our swing all the time to, to correct our fault when we grip the club. Okay, we want to just have a natural swing where we can hit the ball consistently and straight. For the two faults we have here, you can't do that. So let's get back to the basics where we can grip the club correctly and we'll improve our game. Okay, now let's get down to serious business here. Um, I'm going to show you the correct grip this time. Uh, you want to slide the club down, diagonally down, the left palm of your, of your left hand. Okay, you don't want to put it right in the middle of your left palm. Uh, that's going to restrict your, your backswing where you've got to crock your wrists and you've got to release the club through, through the ball. So what you want to do, you want to put it down, diagonally down your left palm, close your fingers, slide your, your thumb just down the right hand side of your shaft. You're going to see two to two and a half knuckles on your left hand, okay? Now with your right hand, you want to face your right palm to the target where you're aiming at. Close your fingers, all right? You're going to see a V coming up straight up here to your right shoulder, all right? When you see that, you know you're gripping it correctly. You slide in your right palm, close your fingers, and again, you're going to see a V. We're actually going to feel like you're going to pull on the trigger of a gun, okay? So you slide it in there, and that's a pretty solid grip there, okay? You're going to see the two and a half knuckles. It's going to feel pretty uncomfortable to start off with, but you've got to do it. Now, the three different types of grips we find on tour these days, the most common one is this one, where you've got to go overlap with your right hand. This is the one I use. You also find the interlock, where the guys who have little smaller hands or shorter fingers uh, want to interlock to feel very comfortable and secure there. And the third one is, is, the, is the baseball. We can all, you also call it the hammer grip, okay? 
Now with these three grips, with the right amount of grip pressure, you don't have to feel like you're going to kill the club. With the right amount of grip pressure, it's going to feel a little uncomfortable, but please, this is going to help your game. You don't have to go back and take the club back and, and try and compensate to, to, to keep the club in square all the time. You can just go back and swing straight through. The club's going to stay square. You're going to need more consistent golf shots.